Millions dream of being an astronaut, but how many of us have what it takes? Chris Hadfield stars in a new TV series called Astronauts, the toughest job in the universe, where 12 regular people are put through the same physical and mental tests to see if they have what it takes to join a space mission. Please welcome Commander Chris Hadfield. Is back. We are so happy when you guys here on BT. And these coincidences that happen only to you. Uh, so you tweeted overnight. Uh, not only did you sit beside one of the great musicians of uh, our time, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you also happened to just by chance see the SpaceX launch yesterday. So I was sitting next to Roger Hudson of Supertramp, uh, and we were chatting about guitar and how he wrote his music, but I realized that SpaceX was having a launch. We are coming out of Orlando, and I said, there should be a launch. I don't think we'll see it, but we took off a little late, and I looked out, and you could see the rocket there leaving the Earth. Picture. So I, I got the... Roger next to me, and, and, and the whole, everybody in the whole airplane came over to the right side. The airplane was, you know, leaning to the right. But uh, you could see the rocket of the trail. It was just a lovely little... We talked about it the whole way up. And that was from the same pad that you took off from twice. Twice, yeah. I left Earth twice from that pad, and, and uh, now SpaceX is using that pad. Yeah. And, and what's neat is they didn't just launch a rocket, but the rocket came back and landed. It was a used rocket. They've yeah. done that 18 times now, so yeah. pretty interesting Amazing. tech. Yeah. So talk to us about this show. It actually premieres Sunday night uh, on the BBC at 8 p.m. Yeah, on BBC Earth at 8 p.m. Uh, it's been a huge success over in the U.K., which is really lovely to see. I wanted people to see what astronaut selection is actually like. There's a lot of people thinking, well, maybe I could be an astronaut. I wanted people to see it. We did a six-part series, um, and thousands of people applied to be part of this. We chose 12, and then we put them through the same test wow. that, that Canada's new astronauts, uh, Josh and Jenny, went through, what, that NASA uses, uh, to let people see not just the physical, but the mental yeah. side of it. Now, I'm worried. Oh, I mean, I saw some of the video there about, about jumping on a rock wall and things like that, but you have brought this some, some steps. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, this is actually a mental test. Kevin. It's a cognitive? Yeah, yeah it's a cognitive wow. test, right. but, but nothing ever yeah, happens just uh, simply on a spaceship. Okay. There's always stuff going on. So I'm going to have you uh, stand in front of these uh, little platforms here. Okay. I'll stand beside you guys. And um, while you're stepping up and stepping down, I'm going to give you some numbers. Okay. okay. You have to listen to the numbers and then repeat them back to me exactly the same, only backwards. While oh, stepping? Whoa, okay. While stepping. So if I say to you, you start stepping. I don't care how fast so you step. So it'd be one, four, eight. We but if I say to you, one, two, three, you say three, two, okay. one. Okay. Yeah. Can you do that one for me? That would be okay. great. Okay. All right. So uh, <laughs> yeah. you can just start whenever you're ready. Just okay. slowly so just... start stepping up and down. All right. Okay. And Dina, you ready to Hold start? On. Let's time it at the same time. You're throwing me off, Kev. Okay. okay. <laughs> and you don't have to go fast. Okay. Dina, are you ready to start? Okay. Okay. Four, six, eight. Eight, six, four. Commander Hatfield. So far, so good. Okay, Kevin, you set? Set. Seven, nine, two. Two, nine, seven. Well, too easy. Okay, we're going to go to four numbers now. Dina, you set? Notch. Here we go. Five, eight, nine, three. Three, nine, eight, five. Booyah. Not a nice Take job. Take space. Kevin, are you ready? Uh, no, but go ahead. Eight, seven, three, zero. Zero, seven, three, eight. And... Oh! oh. Sit down, Kevin. I okay, win. Danny, you ready? I'm so hard to get response okay. as well. Have a seat. To infinity and now we're going. Now we're going to six numbers. Okay. Okay, this is harder now. And no, 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 no freestyle. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Seven, okay, five. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me get you my ready? back. Let me get my... Okay. You don't get do-overs in space, <laughs> Dina. Sorry, sorry. Okay, here we go. Seven, five, nine, four, zero, two. Got that a goo 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 goo. You lost me at seven nine three, but we love you. That was really hard. Commander Hatfield, everybody. So, so essentially, we can't even pass this test. How are we going to do it in a centrifuge? Well, I mean, I'm on my third flight coming back on the Russian ship, the Soyuz, they're reading you hundreds of numbers in Russian while you're flying the ship, and you have to remember them and use them. And so this test is just to show while your body's distracted, how well can you still keep your mind going? And it's one of the many tests on this show on Sunday night. The show is just done superbly, and I'm, I'm really pleased we have it in Canada. BBC Earth starting on Sunday night at 8. We're so excited to see it. We're not cut out to be astronauts, Gavin. <laughs> yeah, it's shocking. We put the not in astronaut. And we put the yes in everything you do. So thank you so much for being here. Good Make sure you, you check it out. Right now, Mel, over to you. We tried.